the president and I sat there on the south balcony at the White House. He is trying to enlist Americans to put some pressure on, send a message to Congress, because he says health care is the ticking time bomb inside the American economy. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much for having me. Do you still expect to get health care by the end of the year? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you don't, is it over for four years? We're going to get it done. So I won't engage in hypotheticals in which we don't. Uh, and the reason it's going to get done is because the American people understand it has to get done. Every town I visit, every city I go, people ask me, you know, why is it that my premiums have gone up uh, two, three times in the last nine, ten years? So whether it's families, businesses, or government, we know that we're going to have to uh, reform this system. And I'm confident that if everybody puts their minds to it, we can get it done. On cost. Yeah. And I've been out with my pen and pencil all weekend. Right. Please tell me some of this is complicated for you. Too. It is very complicated. The short version? To start covering the estimated $1 trillion cost or more, the president's proposed $300 billion in cuts and another $300 billion or so in revenues, taxes on higher income people. But senators have already said they're not going to do it. We've identified $600 billion that will be reallocated from existing health care expenditures by the government. To do that, we've suggested that uh, we should take the deductions that currently wealthy people like myself or you take, drive them back down to 28%. If we did that, that affects 2 to 3 percent of the population, and we would raise the enough money to actually make sure this thing is paid for. Now, members of Congress may have other ideas about how best to do this. I'm happy to listen to them. I still think that's the best way to go you about it. You know about the vast skepticism out there that these numbers are going to add up, that this is going to be sufficient to cover an ever-escalating health care. I think the, the, in this debate, the burden should be on those who say we do nothing. Because there's, there, there tends to be uh, the, the attitude of, we've got a great system, <laughs> and uh, if, if we just don't mess with it, uh, and the, the you know, Obama folks aren't trying to do too much, that somehow we'll be OK. That's just not the case. Doing nothing means more people losing their coverage, higher costs for families, higher costs for businesses, and Medicare and Medicaid will go bankrupt. If you don't get the tax. So, so, if, so if, we, uh, if we don't make these decisions, we'll be worse off. Are you open to taxing benefits? I have identified the ways that I think we should finance this. I think Congress should adopt them. I'm going to wait and see what ideas ultimately they come up with. I suspect when they start seeing uh, what the options are, they might end up concluding that actually uh, the options we're presenting are the best ones. So you're not going to say one way or the other at this point? I, I, I don't want to prejudge what they're doing. The president also seemed willing to negotiate on his much debated public government funded insurance plan and on his most often repeated promise to Americans included a new variable, employers. <laughs> People have been hearing you say these these words about if you like your doctor, you'll yeah. keep your doctor, period. If you like your health plan, you'll keep your health plan, period. And yet I thought today in the press conference I heard you amend it to say if your employer decides to change it, we don't have control over that. Well, well, well so, but of course, that, I mean, but that's, that's the case whether we pass health care or not. I can't pass a law that says, I'm sorry, employers, you can never make changes to the health care plans that you provide your employees. What I can say is that the government is not going to force you to, uh, your employer or you to join a government plan, for example. If you're happy with it and your employer is happy with it, keep it. If your employer is not providing you the health care that you need, then we're going to give you a set of options to make sure that you continue to have health care. Is there a point at which you will say, I will wait, I will not accept it at this cost? Yes, I, I think that if any reform that we get is not driving down costs in a serious way, you if, won't do if, it. if people say, we're just going to add more people onto a hugely inefficient system, then I will say no because uh, we can't afford it. If uh, there aren't some basic game changers in the system. Additional incentives for prevention, encouraging uh, 
you know, uh, family care physicians. If we're not, uh, you know, uh, looking at what systems work best and trying to duplicate that. All those things that drive down costs, if those aren't in there, uh, then uh, I'm not for the bill. And when we talked yesterday, I asked the president about our visits to the doctors. How many scans are we entitled to? How many x-rays? Who's going to make that decision? And that'll be at our next half hour. But before we leave now, um, a footnote to the health care conversation. The pesky press corps is always asking the president about his struggle with smoking. They did it in the press conference yesterday. I tried to follow up, and as you'll see, got shot down. Have I fallen off the wagon sometimes? Yes. The, uh, am I a daily smoker, a constant smoker? No. Uh, I don't do it in front of my kids. I don't do it in front of uh, my family. Uh, and, you know, I, I would say that I am 95% uh, cured. 95% how you said today. <laughs> See, I'm shameless on asking the human yeah, interest smoking yeah, I, I, question. Yeah, well, I mean, the, 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 this is a, a favorite for every reporter. <laughs> so the... Uh, I, you know, I've, I've answered it as often as I can. I'm sure I will continue to answer. What is there a time of day that's the hardest? No, the, Most the, people, Diane, have you know, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I've, I've answered that one. Uh huh. I guess it's one thing to have your friends and family nagging you. It's another thing to have the entire country nagging you about smoking.